For children living in the gold fields, life could seem like a great adventure one day and very difficult and harsh the next. Children's parents moved around a lot, looking for new and richer gold fields. Children would have to change schools pretty often. It usually took a while before a school was established in a new area, so often there was no schooling at all. This might sound like fun, but it made it very hard to learn to read and write and do mathematics. Besides, when they weren't in school, children were expected to help their parents with household chores, such as looking after the younger children, shopping, fetching water from the creek, gathering firewood, washing clothes, helping with cooking, or taking care of horses. Often they would also be expected to help look for gold at the diggings. The clothing that children wore in the 1850s depended on the wealth of their parents. Children from wealthy families would have comfortable, high quality and fashionable clothing, and children from poor families would have to make do with basic clothes that would be worn until they fell apart. Children were also expected to dress as neatly as possible at all times. What do you think of that?